Renota really um, in the middle tier of the value chain we buy water from the Department of Water and Sanitation. We abstract it from the integrated Val River system, specifically from the Val Dam. Um, that relationship is um, regulated by what we call a water use license. Um, that license provides for us to abstract maximum 1,347 uh, million cubic meters uh, per annum, 1,347. We are currently abstracting 1,680 um, million cubic meters per annum. So at this point in time, we are over abstracting uh, from, from the catchment. Um, and, and as we have known, um, as we know, uh, it has been clarified by the Department of Water and, and Sanitation, um, led by our DG, it will be irresponsible uh, for them to give us an additional abstraction at this point in time until such time the sort of phase two comes in and until such time that um, our municipalities and ourselves um, in the media in the mid and the lower part mainly of the value chain we deal with uh, water use efficiencies so i think the first thing that we need to understand is from from our side we are abstracting as much as possible and even before even beyond um, what we are allocated um, so it, it is a matter, therefore, as indicated by our department, that we need to work long and hard with our municipalities um, for them to, to reduce um, the land revenue water in that space and to that effect as part of um, the solution. Uh, together with our municipalities, we have what we call Project 1600 to work long and hard um, in, in that space. Um, the after we um, abstract water, we purify it at, at Ferenachim purification works and Zekerbosch purification works. Um, at this point in time, we are averaging at about 5,000 uh, uh, megaliters of water a day, 5 billion liters of water a day that we put into the system to all our 17, 18 municipalities uh, that we currently have. We're talking to the water that we pump, that we produce. As you can see, we are still around um, 5,000 megaliters per day and we are putting in the system um, in the order of uh, 4,500, 4,600, up to 4,800, depending on the consumption. Between the 23rd and the 30th, we are again back to a downward trajectory. So um, we're not there yet. It's obviously a fluctuating trajectory because as we try and load shift, um, some areas will consume a lot more and some will drop the, the consumption. And that is the sort of balance that we try to achieve with the daily morning meetings that we have. Um, we are not relenting. We're still working with our partners in the metros. And we are looking at solutions to continue bringing this consumption down. We want the city of Johannesburg, as an example, to be consuming around 1,493 megalitres per day. And um, as we indicated last week, they have been managing to do so. Um, we were hit by a, 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 a hotter period, and that's why the consumption shot up. But as you can see, again, the trajectory is promising to take us uh, back downwards. Uh, by last week, we were looking at 1,670 million liters per day. And by the end of this week, um, it has dropped to 1,654. If we go to the city of Ekurileni, um, um, similarly, you can see the trajectory. By last week, it was already showing that it's going in the wrong direction. And unfortunately, by um, Tuesday, we were talking now um, an upward trajectory. Um, again, we have agreed on uh, 813 million liters per day as you know, the targeted um, consumption. And, um, and you can see they've been doing pretty well uh, until we were hit by the hotter periods. And the efforts you know, um, throughout these meetings are also showing in the downwards trajectory uh, and of course here and there we will have these upward trajectories which um, are everybody is aware of and um, there are interventions that I'll speak to later on to try and um, keep that uh, consumption low. With Swani also um, very good um, um, efforts you can see there a sharp um, deadline from last week um, we want them to be at 620 um, by end of last week, they were at 668, um, obviously still not there yet. And unfortunately, by this week, a slight increase. Um, but um, again, all the metros have shared with us 
the plans in terms of what they will be doing in their articulation. We continue to identify systems that can be um, that are identified for load shifting, and that is exactly what we then do. That is why, as we are sitting here, we can report that all three metros have got water, and um, largely and partly um, thanks to you know those interventions of people that go out at night to close certain systems. They go out in the morning to open the, those those systems, and that is going to continue, ladies and gentlemen, until all the systems would have stabilized and everybody, you know, um, and has water.